My family has always been uh, very poor. And my mom, and even generations before my mom, they've always been housewives. The highest job I ever saw when I first thought about having a job as a young girl was probably being the manager of McDonald's. I knew my family had no way of providing for college, no way of providing for any other high level uh, jobs. There were times where I would even cry because I'd be like, I don't want that. I don't want that for me. Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum kind of helped me out. They kind of inspired me having Robin be like, you know, you could do this. Okay, go straight back. Watch the wings. Who's walking the wings? Keep going. Good. Keep going. My name's Robin Petgrave, and I'm the executive director of Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum. All right, cool. We're open every day. This is an after-school program. There is no opportunity like that. Uh, this place after school you can come to and if you're diligent you can become a pilot. You can get you know thousands of dollars worth of flight training in your logbook that you don't have to pay for. You can give them real physical tangible skills that can turn into a lucrative career for them and definitely a path out of where they were going. So I signed up about three weeks later they're like oh you're up next to go on flying. I was like flying in that big plane right there? You don't mean simulator? No. It was actually going to be my first time being in a plane, let alone flying the plane. I've only seen them on TV. So I got into a plane. My heart was beating. I was like having all these little chills running through my skin. So we started to lift off. I started to see the ground. And I was like, we are flying, we are flying. So I just took control and it just felt so natural. It was just a new feeling, you know? It's like, I'm never gonna get tired of it. It's really great, you know? Because you feel that you can do anything you want because you're like, there is no limit. If I could fly a plane at 15 years old, imagine what I could do tomorrow, you know? So what's the next step? Space. We now have a way to get a kid uh, into the aerospace industry. Robin came to me and he was all like, would you like to be an astronaut? I was like, <laughs> you're funny. And then he's like, no, I'm serious. Would you like to be an astronaut? I was like, how? I mean, I really just started flying these small aircraft. We have six kids that we've selected and I've started going through the process to train them to actually be astronauts and mission specialists. A kid's goal is maybe to be an astronaut. If they fall short, they could have the 18,000 jobs that are there in order for them to be an astronaut. Airline captains, pilots, engineers. It's not something that comes around just every day that you wake up and you're like, ah, oh, you're gonna be an astronaut today. No, it's something that you really have to work for and you really have to work with the person, your instructor, for example, to get to that point. And that's what I've been doing ever since I got here. I've been working hard. When I tell people about the astronaut program and they're like, okay, probably they're just, just taking this class for fun. You know, they're not really gonna be astronauts. No, I am gonna be an astronaut. If things go the way we think and hope they're gonna go sometime in the next three to five years, one kid in our aerospace program will be going to the International Space Station. My parents knowing that their daughter could actually be one of those astronauts that takes millions and millions of dollars of training and Robin is able to provide that training was just outstanding. I tell the kids all the time, you know, what makes the helicopter fly? And they'll say it's the rotor blade, it's Newton's third law, action and reaction, it's um, thrust, it's the engine, it's the... I said, no, it's money. Because if you don't have money, that thing's not moving, it's not even going to be there. My mom is very happy and sometimes she also tears up because she's like, I've always wanted the best for you. They're like, yes, our daughter is going to be the first to graduate high school. Our daughter is going to be the first to graduate college. She's going to go into space and she's going to help a lot of people and show that people's backgrounds don't matter. It's people's dreams and inspirations and motivations that really do matter and get to where you want to be.